Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to do a review on my Alden boots in snuff suede. And uh, I want to start out by saying um, these aren't officially Alden boots. Uh, I got these from Brooks Brothers two years ago. They're two years old. The only reason I got them actually was because I had wanted a pair of snuff suede uh, boots for a really long time, but I wasn't sure about suede. I had a few doubts about suede. I'm not going to lie. I was going for stuff for at the time. I was going for boots that were really durable, and I was sure that I could wear in the rain, I could wear in the elements, and that they would they would always hold up. And you know, I didn't have to baby them. I didn't have to care about them too much. And so my thoughts on suede initially were, uh, especially especially a, a lighter suede like this, um, I I was very hesitant to to jump on. Um, but a buddy of mine, he had a coupon for Brooks Brothers. It was two hundred dollars off a five hundred dollar purchase or something like that. And, uh, I ended up using that, and it worked on these boots. And uh, and I was. <laughs> I went ahead and placed the order. I was so excited. I was like, if they're going to be discounted that much by basically 30, 40 percent, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give them a try. You know, I already knew that I loved this crepe sole. This, this is called the All Weather Walker or crepe sole. It's, it's like a rubbery resin type sole. It's, uh, it's real nice. It's real comfortable. It's squishy, you know, um, and it, it does not slip. It, I could basically wear that thing in the, in the ice and it, it's still I have very little slipping problems with this boot um, another thing that really drew me to it were the golden eyelets I'm a, I'm a sucker for gold eyelets uh, let me let me get to what the actual Brooks Brothers site says the Brooks Brothers site does not mention anything about this being Alden um, it just says this is a boot crafted in genuine suede made in the USA On the inside of the boot, it actually has a Brooks Brothers stamp in there, um, but the writing on the inside. All right, so I don't know. Let's see if you can see that. Now that that writing on the inside there, that's that's something Alden puts in all their boots, and and that's basically that's identical letter by letter what Alden puts in all my other shoes, <laughs> like this. So. Again, I'll give you a close up here. We got that. Now, now because of my knowledge of, of Alden and the suede they use, this is traditionally called the snuff suede. So. One cool thing is, I don't know if you could see it in this light, but you could see where some of my raw indigo um, came off. I think they call that crocking where the raw indigo leaks and, and gets onto the suede. Um, really cool. I really like it when that happens, actually. I think. I think that's really cool. And as you can see, I've worn these in all kinds of situations, and they still look pretty dang pristine. They have not taken on much staining or much much damage at all. Even um, one story in particular that I have about these is that uh, there was a tree about to fall down on my house, a big one, and uh, I, I rushed out. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, you can see the crocking there too. That that darkness there. That's raw indigo. That's blue staining on there. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'll get to the story about uh, probably the time I put it through the biggest, its biggest test. Um, I got home from work one day and I noticed that our tree out front was actually, it was a big tree and it had split down the center and it was about to fall on the house. And I went into full on panic mode. I was wearing these, did not intend to do this, have these on when I did this, but um, it was raining outside, it was really muddy. And I had to go out there basically with a with a chain, and I was going out there standing on the fence with this chain wrapping it around the tree, to try to prevent it from falling over. And uh, these things were just by the time I was out there for about 45 minutes, I was wrapping chains around the tree, I was wrapping uh, um, anything I could find, ropes around it, just to just to keep it together so that it wouldn't 
fall. Anyways, by the time I got back to the house, I looked down at my boots. These things were just covered in mud. I'm telling you, mud everywhere. Just because I had slipped and fallen a few times from the excitement. You know, I'm jumping, I'm, I'm, I'm climbing on top of the fence and it's raining and I'm slipping and sliding and everything. I'm working with the neighbor. It was pure chaos. But anyways, uh, these things, um, I, didn't, I forgot that I even had these on. These things cleaned up beautifully. It, actually, when I cleaned these up, I used, uh, what did I, I actually ran these under the sink, something that suede, people that are delicate with their suede, they'll say, oh, don't take these outside in the rain. Oh yeah, you don't want to get rain on that. Uh, that's, that's a bunch of crap right there. I, I took these after being rained on and covered in mud, I took these under the sink and ran water over them. Just look at that. Mud and, and water all over these. And I'll include the original pictures from when I got these. These could take it. Suede, this is a snuff suede. I used to consider that a very light color suede. This is actually more of medium. It's, it's more of a medium color because uh, there's a lighter color suede called tan uh, that Alden uses. Even lighter than that is milkshake. That's even lighter. But um, yeah, so, so in retrospect, snuff suede is actually a fairly dark, darker suede. So I do spray these down with nano protector probably once a year just to prevent staining and stuff like that. But after that experience, I realized suede is pretty tough. Suede does not need to be babied like you were raised to think it does. It's not this delicate leather that's gonna fall apart if it gets wet. It, it's not. The suede is quite durable and you don't know until you've used them and worn them. Now, I, I don't wanna get paint on these. You know, I, I don't wanna go too crazy. I don't wanna wear these in all situations. I don't wanna get, like I said, paint splatter. I don't wanna get like, you know, if I'm staining, staining wood or something like that, obviously I'm not gonna have these on. <laughs> <laughs> because I guarantee you, if I got some cherry wood stain on these, it, that would never come out. <laughs> so, within reason. But, um, but suede, like I always say, you don't know a leather's true character until you've owned it for a few years, worn it in different situations. You start to get a feel for, for different things that it can do, things that, you know, because when I first got these, I only wore these in pristine weather, and like to the mall, that was it. But then as I got more comfortable, you know, I, I go outside in these, I walk around in the grass in these, you know, I, I'm not worried about some green grass stain. Well, guess what? It has zero green grass stain on it. You know, I used to take my kid to soccer and run around in these in the grass. You can't tell. You cannot tell. There's no, there's no effect whatsoever on the boot. There's, there's no evidence that anything like that ever took place. In addition to that, for the longest time, I thought these were on the True Balance last. So I did size down a half a size according to the reviews on the Brooks Brothers website because I thought, uh, just by looking at it, that oh, okay, that's the True Balance last. Then when I got them, I'm like, uh, it's not quite True Balance. Maybe that's Very Last. Turns out, somebody, uh, I posted on Instagram that I wasn't too sure what the last was, and somebody out of nowhere came out and said, oh, that looks like the uh, XL019 last. That's like a, and don't quote me on that because that I tried googling it and I couldn't find it. But anyways, basically the last that this is built on, I don't know the exact code. I know uh, this is a last almost used ex exclusively in Japan, I believe, because there are Alden shops in Japan. And uh, that last is particularly used for the Japanese, I believe, for the more Asian markets. So, so this isn't something that is, that, you know, because even on Alden's uh, last chart, it does not mention anything about the XL, XYZ19 last doesn't say a thing about it so so but sure enough I ended up googling that last that the guy was talking about and it was that was it um, so this does run a half size large but again the Brooks Brothers website doesn't even mention Alden doesn't say what last this is on doesn't doesn't mention that that the suede is sourced from the Charles F Stead um, tannery in the UK which um, if you know your suede you'll you know Charles F Stead tannery in fact, I don't buy suede unless it's from that tannery, just because I trust it so much. Even, you know, and they produce all kinds of suede. I have um, a couple of pairs of Alfred Sargent monk straps in 
in uh, rep it's called Rapello Suede. That's from Charles F. Stead. Um, um, even Clark's Clark's uses uh, a lower grade suede from the Charles F. Stead tannery. So so they make all ranges of suede qualities of suede leathers. Um, and as far as I know, I think they do some other types of leather too. I'm not too sure, but they do a lot of stuff. They're they're really amazing. They're, in my opinion, some of the best suede in the world. Actually, I don't have experience with any other suede. If you're considering a suede shoe or a suede boot, and you see that the leather was sourced from Charles F. Stead, then you know you're getting a good, a very good product. So, um, what do I wear these with? Well, the, the original inspiration that I had to get these was I was looking at the, I think the 2015 J. Crew winter fall release like months in advance before they even released it. They basically released uh, runway photos of their clothes being worn by the models uh, before these clothes ever hit the site. Um, I, I like to look that stuff up just to see what's coming down the road, just to see if there's any suits or anything that I'm going to want to buy, any any Aldens I'm going to want to buy. And I noticed that a few of the J, uh, the J. Crew models were wearing a boot similar to this in snuff suede. Uh, plain toe, and they were wearing those with a lot of stuff. I'm talking, they had them on with denims, dark denims, light denims, they had them on with all these suits, and I just thought, wow, what a interesting pairing, because typically I'm used to, you know, a brown chrome XL boot, cap toe with a suit. Wasn't too used to seeing this light suede with a winter suit. That was just something brand new, and I... And I, I saved some of the pictures to my my photo my, my photos on on my iPhone, and I just kept going back and looking at it. And the more I looked at that, I just realized how versatile it was. And I realized that I really wanted to get a pair. I did not expect to be able to wear this with the range of clothing that I do. And I, as far as versatility goes, these get a ten all the way. I wear these with denims with navy and gray slacks with basically anything that doesn't complete that come close to matching this color which is basically my almost my entire wardrobe the only thing I don't wear these with are khakis because khakis kind of match sort of close to the color so I like to have more of a contrast there but as far as my suits go this goes with so many of my winter weight suits it's not even funny I wouldn't wear these with like a summer weight like a linen suit but when it comes to those heavier wools those tweeds oh man this is, this is just, it's, it's genius is what it is. I still see them on the Brooks Brothers website. Um, I'm not sure current uh, discounts would apply to these, but if you see them on there and you like them, I definitely recommend them. I love these. And again, the comfort is there. The durability is definitely there. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to think, oh, it's delicate suede. Oh, I can't. I can't test these, you know. Um, in fact, I, I have worn this with these exact pants that I have on now, this exact sweater. I mean, the, these these are perfect with some green, some green denims and a gray sweater. I mean, look at that, that, that would go great. You know, I'm not wearing that today. I've got my 405 Indies on today, but, but just to give you an example, um, that's what I would wear those with. And as far as belt pairings go, any brown belt, any, any brown belt basically is gonna tie that together, so. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the review. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.